before I met you, I wasn't spiritual. And I didn't really understand what it meant to have faith or believe in God. But experiencing your love made it impossible to deny that there is a force bigger than myself. And he decided to bless me with you. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy. I feel like once we actually knew how marriage would be different and how it would feel different, that was like three years ago at this point. And I'm just really, I'm just really excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. It was never a, a question of who we were going to marry. Yeah. It was just a question of, of when and, and why do it. I'm really excited to do it now. I do wish we did a long time ago. We became who we were together. And and because of each other. a lot so um, it's it's incredible to do that with a partner it's nice it's like gonna be our vows is this a preview you're gonna like my vows but i'm gonna like yours more yeah you're gonna cry <laughs> you know i spent many hours thinking about what to say to you here and after many iterations and a lot of reflection only one quote beautifully and succinctly captures the truth of how I feel. In the words of fictional Mexican cartel boss, Hector Salamanca, la familia es todo. Family is everything. We've been ready for a long time, but today we finally, officially, unite as family. Try to catch my breath when you walk me through. When you and Lily first locked eyes, you were both 18 years of age, students at Wharton. We witnessed something magical develop. It was at a date night. Yeah. We sat next to each other, but you were my date, and I was immediately drawn to you. You were? Yeah. I noticed that you were cute right away. I had a crush <laughs> on you right away. What really clinched it, though, is when you shared your udon noodles with me. <laughs> Pretty soon, all my friends knew about my huge crush on you and how you were exactly my type. I couldn't have known then how right I was. And then you looked back at me and you saw a five foot seven M&T nerd in hand-me-down shorts and basketball shoes falling asleep in econ. And by some divine miracle, you thought, wow, this is someone I need to spend more time with. We started like coming earlier and earlier to to be pub to yeah. just like talk to each other. We we're just kind of like Facebook flirting with each other. We saw each other at parties. I had all of my like Trey Blue friends and they all knew that I really liked you and they pushed me to dance with you and then you <laughs> danced. Then you put your number in my phone. I did. I did put my number in your phone. Yeah. And that was it. That you know started the rest of history. When we were spending that summer in Boston together, in my memory, like it's almost like a movie. Like it has this like hazy, like rosy glow to it. Yeah. That was the summer of love. It just kind of solidified how much we we were sort of meant for each other. We met when we were only 18. And over the last 12 years, 
We built our foundation of love and trust, stone by stone. We became inseparable. We grew up and faced the world together, updated our values so we can evolve into more perfect partners for each other. Lily, I feel an overwhelming sense of gratitude for every moment I get to spend with you. Even after a decade, I fall more deeply in love with you every day. Three years ago, we stopped talking about marriage in theory and started planning for it to be our reality. What this means is that we are ceremonially bound together. We trim all of the branches of any other life that we could possibly have. And, you know, when previously we thought that was a bug of marriage and, and having sort of like an escape plan available to us, now that option isn't open. And that's an incredible thing because it allows us to really focus on each other instead of having this other sort of kind of selfish path that is you know, in our brain in theory, but now that it, it doesn't exist. We've just been together for so long that everyone is just like used to having us as a, a unit. It's just kind of puts, it's almost like a gateway into everything else that comes after. Nashville is our next logical home. Neither of us had ever been to Nashville, but you asked me to trust you, to remember that we were on the same team and that we were building a life together. So I trusted you. We moved to Nashville, and I'm here today marrying my best friend and the love of my life. Even though we are bound together, I will never take you for granted. I know that love will challenge us in unforeseen ways, and I promise to return to our foundation to carry us through. I love you, Daniel, and I am excited to finally be your wife. With these commitments, we set the foundation for our greatest shared vision. Growing old together, full of love for each other, surrounded by a very large family that carries our legacy forward. La familia es todo.